Hello guys, welcome back to TechDose and in this video we will understand the upstream and downstream systems which is from basics of system design. Uh, let's try to take an example and understand. So we will uh, take an example of car manufacturing workshop. Now in a car manufacturing workshop there will be multiple smaller workshops where uh, I mean the raw material comes in and the new car is getting uh, created right. So workshop number one is about collecting the parts like the raw materials is coming from outside and uh, all the parts gets uh, collected for making the car and this is workshop number one. Now collectively all these parts are going to workshop number two where everything gets assembled together. So here uh, we will make the entire structure of the car and once the structure gets created then we will send it to the paint assembly which is workshop number three where the entire structure will get painted and the final finishing will be done and hence the new car gets created right now if you think about the value of the car value of the car will be least when it is just in the form of raw material it will have least value and it will have the most value when it is assembled and everything is done and dusted and it is just a brand new car right so it is the most valuable whereas the raw materials are the least valuable and as soon as work goes on like collecting the parts after the collection is done and uh, we are moving to the assembly then the value will increase when the assembly is done and you get the structure of the car then its value will further increase and if painting is done as well it will hold the highest value which is the brand new car right so we can say that the value increases when we go from left to right from acquiring the raw materials to getting the new car ready but if you think in terms of dependency then you cannot paint something uh, for which the structure is not generated and you cannot make the structure if you do not have the relevant parts and you cannot collect the parts if you don't get the raw materials right so the dependency is just in the opposite order of value right i hope this is clear so in this case moving from right to left is upstream and moving from left to right is just downstream like you can just imagine it like the flow of a river so how a river would flow i mean the river water is flowing from left to right in this case because the parts are moving from left to right so if you are moving from left to right then moving left to right is downstream okay you can just imagine in that way now let's understand in terms of our systems so in system uh, let's say that you have multiple components a b c in this case c is dependent on b and b is dependent on a how is that possible because let's say you have the main function and a component which is making use of a utility function something like that right so in this case if a component dependency moves from right to left then you can say that this is the independent component which doesn't depend on any external component according to the figure c is dependent on b and b is dependent on a like the paint assembly was dependent on the assembled parts and the assembly will depend on the collection of parts right so in the similar way we have shown the dependency uh, diagram so you can imagine that right to left it will be upstream and left to right it will be downstream therefore value of c will be highest because it is importing all the functionalities of a and b whenever it is required the value of b will be less than c but it will be more than a because it will import all the functionalities of a therefore in terms of value it will be increasing from left to right okay let's take an example of google map so if we look at the simple google map service of uh, let's say you are uh, trying to reach from a point a to point b then how the navigation is done right so the user is asking google map to find the shortest path or maybe the minimum cost path from a to b so we as a user will ask the navigation service of google map and the navigation service will ask the shortest path service now the shortest path service will again ask for the top k paths which shortest path will actually filter out from among the top k paths right therefore you imagine that navigation service is dependent on shortest path shortest path is dependent on top k paths right but is the navigation service only finding uh, shortest path no it will also have some service like eta and many other services right in this case the navigation service imports every every functionality of shortest path and the shortest path makes use of top k path so this is the most independent component you can say or the most independent uh, service therefore you can imagine that moving from right to left in this case will be upstream moving from left to right you will be uh, seeing downstream 
and the navigation service will be holding the maximum value whereas the top k path will hold the least value i would like to announce about our live training programs data structures and algorithms which is interview dos and system design which is design dos if you are looking for making a switch from service to product based or even make a product based to product based top tier switch and aiming for your dream company this is the best curriculum you can ever join i'll be your mentor throughout the cohort and i will help you clear all your doubts in the one on one sessions you can know more about this by querying us on the whatsapp number or you can also visit our website techdose.co.in i hope the concept of upstream and downstream systems are clear like and share our video and subscribe to our channel for more such system design videos see you guys in the next video thank you